the equation, new equation, I think is less stuff and less space equals smaller footprint, more money, and more happiness. This is intense. Someone lived here? Yeah, woman lived in it for 40 years. This is the kitchen and the bathroom. This was the original apartment. We did a contest. We've got over 300 entries from all over the world redesigning that space. Here we go. I think that if you can knock all the walls, you get the most sense of space and freedom, and then you just you use really smart multifunctional furniture to transform the space. This is the bed right here that will come out from bedroom to living to working. But here's the moving wall in the out position. In the in position, it'll, it'll slide back here, straight into here. It's done. Apartment is done. So I can live in it now. The main room transforms, and so sometimes it's really open. Sometimes it's with the office, which is inside the moving wall, open. Sometimes it's the wide open space with the bed pulled down. It's like a master bedroom. You simply pull down two fingers and it has this really cool weighted shelf. So you can literally have candles on top. That becomes the support. I'm very lazy and I figured out how to make my bed way faster than normal. Let's pretend I'm sleeping. <laughs> okay. So you get up, you have these two pillows here, and so we quickly strap these in. It ends up actually being a, a nice ritual. You know, every morning you sort of just do that, it takes a minute, double it over like this, strap here. You're ready for your day to start and the bed's gone. Well, the office is just right here. I work at home, often run virtual companies and I'm lazy again. And you can keep all this stuff in here, just pull it out, and you're good to go. You're now on your second room. This is a room now. Right, so now I have a nice, large office. You know, lots of space, very comfortable. I have an adjustable seat. So really simple. And then when you want to put it away, just throw these in here. Put this away. Talk about airing my dirty laundry. So the beauty, beauty of this is you can be a total mess on the inside. I don't even know what I'm going to put in these places. There is just a ton of storage here. And then if guests are coming over, guests come, you pull the moving wall out, pull this out. I need to get a, the right size rug. So that, that creates a whole other room here. And so here we built so there's a bunch of storage on this side of the moving wall, a um, couple drawers and you know, down here. And this is a, a folding desk. So for a guest, it's a little, little laptop sort of. And so two offices. Yeah. And then in here, this is the sports locker, definitely Lots of storage is important. So this place has a ton of storage. We've basically gone wall to wall, floor to ceiling. And so this is the, even in the guest room, we have a bunch of storage up there, storage there, storage there, storage there, storage there. And then, where the, where, so we're in the guest bedroom. It's called the lollipop. Really comfortable, and then I don't usually do that from here. But there's a these curtains come out, and they magnet. There's a piece of steel that magnets to the end of the wall, so it gives a little visual and acoustic privacy. And you can you can actually hear the the tone changes just when you cover it. Now you, now you a two bedroom apartment. Two bedroom apartment, yeah. So the bathroom's over here. You're in the kitchen, and so. 
you can sleep one or two in here, and then uh, one or two in here. So conceivably four comfortably in a 400 square foot apartment. Yeah, it was expensive, but it's a prototype. We were trying a lot of new things, and so yeah, it was definitely expensive, but we believe that we can do this at scale at a reasonable cost. Is there any fear of getting closed by the door? Well, you could. Oh. <laughs> you could get hit by a normal door as well. <laughs> the Star, Star Wars. Uh, So now we're back to the living room. So then, uh, for having guests over, we built the kitchen around this table. So this comes out like this, and then you just pull. It'll obviously gonna cost more than your standard apartment on a per square foot basis. Yeah, I mean, this takes a couple of minutes to do, for sure. It's also, when you're preparing for a dinner for 10, any normal dinner for 10, you're doing a bunch of preparation, putting on. But the point is, you're buying a 400 square foot apartment, but it's got the functionality of five, six, seven hundred square feet. So you're basically getting stuff for free. This is a full dining room now. So sit down for 10. Still lots of space. Bathroom's right there. And we made it so that it's a small space. So the bathroom, you don't want it to be awkward for people. If you're, ha you're having people right here and you want to take a pee, we have a nice double door system. It has decent acoustics and then a full another. So the toilet room is in here, and we designed it with a fold down seat. So if someone's taking a nap, or you wanna have a private phone call in general, you can do this like, like a phone booth. So you can sit in here and make a phone call, and you know, it's a beautiful little room, all in wood, and this sort of recycled stone. It ends up being a nice little, a nice little cabinet to sit inside. And the main idea is get double, triple, quadruple use out of every space. You can meditate or get away or have a phone call all in here. And it's just hides a nice little toilet. And then in here, so we separated the two. So this way someone can be using the john while someone's having the shower. And so that's just basic you know, traffic control. We were concerned about well, how small can a shower be. We were concerned that it might not be big enough, but with this glass, it just feels open and plenty spacious. And we took advantage of this the bottom window. We're like, well, let's make it a seat. And so now you can have a nice shower and sit in it, and we're going to have a nice door. So yeah, so it ended up being a cute, cute little bathroom that is not very big, but it certainly does the trick. That's your closet? Yep. Yeah, so I have a fairly simple I definitely don't need more than that. Actually, I need to do some editing there. So this is like my winter jacket, you know, I just need one. This is a, it's quite cool, actually. It's got this really good hood thing, so you don't even really need a hat. You don't even really need gloves, you just throw your fingers, I mean, for most, most of the time. And I, got a, I love uh, merino wool stuff. It's not itchy, it's antibacterial. And so I've really standardized for like socks and underwear and, and definitely like shirts. And so what's great about this stuff is it makes it's antibacterial, so it doesn't smell. And so, not that I would do this, but um, one could uh, wear shirts and socks and underwear for days, literally. Um, so, which is cool. You end up doing half the, half the laundry. Uh, and, and need less stuff. Yeah, you need, you need less stuff. And that's down to shoes and, you know, kitchenware I can... You know, so this is a bowl and colander and strainer and mixing bowl and all your teaspoons and tablespoons and, and things like all the things that you need all compact into one. Yeah, I mean, obviously we're quite obsessive, but so here's a whisk. So it's, you know, takes up less space than a whisk and easy to clean. What are the three knives you really need? These two and maybe a paring knife and you're pretty much good to go. You don't actually need 18 knives. We're experimenting, like done right. You could probably design a spork that actually works well, but is elegant enough. And then all of a sudden you, do, 
you have the number of utensils, like sp spoons and forks. We also, and we don't have, we don't have this yet, but you know, what, what about a, a great knife that, that is sharp enough to cut through meat, but also rounded enough so you can spread, spread butter. So all of a sudden that combined with a spork and you basically, that's it. So it's like half of your normal cutlery. You know, this, if you have the right size, this actually works well both for soup and for salad and for entrees. Instead of having like three different plates, you have one. And so obviously we're obsessive and this is a bit of a laboratory and that'll work for some people, it won't work for others, but I don't think people actually, when it comes down to it, care that, that much. And of course, you know, stuff that stacks and nests and... Often people will have a five or six burner stove and they rarely use three. And so you know, we went with three. So we, we have three, three in here. They're induction burners. They just plug in. So you just pull it out, plug it in, you're good to go. And they're really good. They cook really well. So we're happy about that. And then this takes two gallons to wash. I guess normal dishwashers are like six. Really energy efficient and you get to be lazy. And it's a top loader. Yeah, and it's a top loader. You don't have to pull it down and pull everything out. You just sort of put the stuff in. And then, you know, recycling and garbage. And every little space, you know, these little stupid things. And then we have a freezer and fridge. They do this in boats, right? Notice it's basically full of booze. Cooled air sinks, right? And so it makes sense to be, like top loading is certainly good on energy. This one uses some, I can't remember, but some ridiculously low amount of energy compared. Although I'm not super happy with it, to be honest. I think I would, it was quite expensive and there, there's some simpler side loaders that I'd probably end up getting. And then inside here we have an electronic composter. It basically rotates. You add a little sawdust initially. It has an air filter and so it doesn't smell. So it's really quite smart. And then this is a combination uh, microwave convection oven. And so we can cook a turkey, but still very space efficient. And this is a little, this is for machinery. So we have some plugs back there. So if you have blenders and that sort of stuff, you can, you can have them and get access to them easily with this pull-out shelf. This is all metal. Part of it is having a beautiful apartment, but also it's very, very, very clean and, and, and good for you. And then the entrance, so the idea here is that it's a, a shoeless, shoeless apartment, so very common in Asia, but not very common here, and actually fairly hard to get to happen. We need to have like a sign. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, didn't even, I didn't even notice, I didn't say anything. I, I often break it myself, but uh, these are shoe cubbies. People can come in and take off their shoes. And then this, uh, there are also some more cubbies in there, and this is the sort of coat closet. And then the lights, dimmable LEDs. So this is a prototype. So it's a simple reading light. It's actually hooked into solar. So we have a couple, three panels about that big, just uh, um, outside. Hooked it through to these two batteries. And so I have things like, like a really simple USB light. And then this is how I charge my phone. Just so I'm able to be off the grid. So we have a heat recovery ventilator. This is the vent, so we made the vent sort of look like the lights, but so there's a nice air coming out here. And basically it pulls in and filters the air. When it expels the air, it holds on to 80 or 90% of the heat or the cool. And then just a really simple uh, fan. It's nice in general to be able to avoid AC if you can, but it's New York City, it gets quite hot. So we built in a small window unit here. We made an insulating panel because you lose a bunch of energy in the winter. And if you're gonna have 10 people in here, you need, you need some AC. Each person is basically like a 100 watt heater. So you get 10 people, you got a 1000 watt heater going. Now you're sure that this is preheated. It's not making any sounds and it doesn't feel hot. Uh, 
Yeah. I'll just check on it often. <laughs> it's a convection oven, and which I've actually never used before. It has a spinning little center tray, and it actually like circulates hot air. See, he can be totally messy on the inside and no one knows. I do. Yeah. Let's look together. I'll show you how the apartment works. The main idea is this main space transforms into five or so different spaces. This is the office over here. And show you the master bed. This is when you have guests over. This wall is pulled up. This comes out if you guys will come around the corner. There's a bunch of uh, storage for the guests here, a couple drawers down here, stand up desk here for very tall guests. It's like you're on a ship. <laughs> Set curtain. And then come back magnet to the end of the wall. <laughs> And there's another one, another one over there. So like my brother stayed last night, so he slept here and I slept there. And it's hard to calculate. Like if you add up all the rooms here, we have like a thousand or eleven. I think it's eleven hundred square feet of functionality, right? Master bedroom, living room, office, spare bedroom, dining room. You add, so it's eleven hundred. And what is this made out of? Is this just wood or? This is one of the two metal strips, so for the magnets. Uh huh. Okay. Now, obviously, you don't actually, you can't be in the same space and you have to transform it. But the main point is you are clearly getting a lot more functionality in the same oh, square footage. Oh, that's the same wall. <laughs> it's deceiving when the walls move. You don't know what's happening. It's like being in a 10 bedroom house and then all of a sudden you're like, wait, we're just in one room. That's <laughs> over. In New York, 200 square feet extra is going to cost you two to three hundred thousand dollars. It's really important for you to have sit down minutes for ten. Also, you realize you can do it 400 instead of 600. It's real money. And a smaller space, there's just less air to heat and light and cool and fill with stuff. It's just that simple. Well, what did this look like before you did all this? A family lived in here for like <laughs> 40 years. No shower or no, no bathtub. I don't want to tell people like how they can be happier. I, I believe that a simpler life is going to make you happier. There's like a little trash can on the sink. I think we live in very overwhelming times. The amount of people we know, the amount of things we do, the amount of social media, the amount of stuff that we own. There's just a lot going on. I feel like if you press yeah, any of the walls, something's going to happen. <laughs> so I think that if you can simplify less, focus on less but better across your life, that that is going to be a calming thing. I think that people prefer to be in a smaller intimate space than in a big space where they feel empty. So yeah. people congregate like yeah. in a little corner anyway. Yeah. Matthew, this is Hi, nice to meet you. The whole point of the project really is we've gone from a thousand square feet average home size in the 50s to 2300, 2500 now. No, it's just not working for us. I think this, this is a happy way to live. A 400 square foot apartment. We have one main space that transforms into five. And I can have a great bedroom. I can have guests over. I can have a sit down dinner for 10 people. I can work at home. I'm not sacrificing here. Right, yeah. so. I think there's just something about simplicity and just having less but better stuff that just keeps your life, gives you more time. And, you know, life's about time and connecting and experience and people and it's not about stuff. And so if you can simplify and just have less stuff to deal with, I think that's going to give you more time and I think more time is good. The equation, new equation, I think is less stuff and less space equals smaller footprint, more money, and more happiness.
This is intense. Someone lived here? Yeah, woman lived in it for 40 years. This is the kitchen and the bathroom. This was the original apartment. We did a contest. We've got over 300 entries from all over the world redesigning that space. Here we go. I think that if you can knock all the walls, you get the most sense of space and freedom, and then you just you use really smart multifunctional furniture to transform the space. This is the bed right here that will come out from bedroom to living to working. But here's the moving wall in the out position. In the in position, it'll, it'll slide back here, straight into here. It's done. Apartment is done. So I can live in it now. The main room transforms. And so sometimes it's really open. Sometimes it's with the office, which is inside the moving wall, open. Sometimes it's the wide open space with the bed pulled down. It's like a master bedroom. You simply pull down two fingers and it has this really cool weighted shelf. So you can literally have candles on top. That becomes the support. I'm very...